Just get this Vulpirian and... Oh, he's running off. Let's just go get him. Oh, he's gone. Fuck him. Fuck him. So yeah, we're moving up here next. So I'll just quickly run past these guys. Later, bitch. So this is basically in like the dungeon kind of... Um, in the dungeon kind of story here. This isn't the... This isn't the dungeon anymore. Before we were fighting like the dungeon, um, the prisoners in the dungeon, and now we're fighting the officers. So it's kind of like that the um, the prison's been run over, and that the prisoners are breaking out, and that Jess Howlis is the prisoner, like the head of the prisoners, and now we're heading up to Night Captain Villery and Overseer Corgus. Overseer is obviously the warden of the prison. I'm just gonna go kill him. So I'm just gonna stun all these guys, blood, boil them all, heal myself up. Seems like these guys hurt quite a lot, especially the officers. So the handcuffs, I think they stun. So you want to make sure you're stunning all these handcuffs. It's just going to gorfine them all together. Just gorfine all these guys. Oh. Just quickly heal. Woo! that shield so I have 10% more HP but yeah so I think these um especially them warden officers you want to be doing them slowly because they've got a stun so we want to go here next and I think we're going across and up so we can just quickly ah so that spotter has like a flare signal which pulls everyone um in that in that circle so as you can see the handcuff, that just really just stuns them. The officer does the handcuffs. You want to get that interrupted. So yeah, you probably want to stun that um, spotter. Going to pop Icebound Fortitude so I don't die. And just put Death and Decay down. And get ready to pop Vampiric when it's up. Get ready to pop Vampiric. Going to be up soon. Pop Vampiric now. And just kill all these guys. So you want to make sure you're either stunning the ad before they get off handcuffs. Or stun them while they do handcuffs. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure they don't get it off like that. You just want to make sure that's interrupted. Obviously it's, it targets the ranged. Then the healers. Just kill these ads quickly. And we go upstairs. Moving on to Night Captain Valerie. Uh, we have to do the full, yeah, the full loop. Full loop of this, but as well, um, it's too far away. these cannons they deal a lot of damage, and someone can just literally jump inside them. But they do really, really big damage, as you can see, and they knock back enemies. So that's really, really good. So these little kegs they pull everyone within that um, within that red circle, and they deal damage. So I'm just going to quickly pull these guys. Pull them back here to the cannon. Because obviously we're gonna, just going to keep knocking them back, really. Just keep knocking these flame casters. So the circles on the floor, that's their blaze. So it's an avoidable ability, so you just want to make sure you're avoiding that. So we're just going to go out of this one and come into this one. So just grip these flame casters on top of each other. Uh, so you want to move out of this keg because it's going to deal big damage. As you can see, like half HP to them guys. So we just kill these cannons. Just pull that guy. So I'm going to pull all this next pack, especially because we have the cannons. Okay, just keep up Blood Plague on all of these and just kite them. We've got the cannon, so it's going to be doing big damage and knocking them back so they won't get a lot of casts off. So I'm just going to kite them. Woo! So yeah, these flame casters seem to hurt a lot. So you just want to make sure either you're, you've got your cannons on them permanently, or you're just 
you know, stunning them, whatever. But as you can see, especially these ads, they're just a meme. You can just gather them up and just burst them down with the cannon. Because not only does the cannon do like 20% of the health, it stuns them. But yeah, they used to have friendly fire, but now they just have the knockback. So we're on the boss now. So the way this boss works, I can't remember it specifically, but there was something to do with treasure, and you had to run out the treasure and stuff. So healer's just getting mana back. I'll get ready to pull. Just type in pulling three, two, one, pulling out. It's time to turn up the heat indeed. So I'm going to use um, rune weapon. Ah, so I remember it's the musician barrels. You want to move away from them, or else they'll explode. So these should, that should explode. So you want to move the cannons out of the fire like this. But obviously they don't know. So you see with that cannon popping, it's going to explode. You want to pick it up and carry it out of the flames. See, so it didn't really matter there because obviously it didn't fill the room. But obviously on Mythic and stuff, the leaves, this room is going to be full of kegs. And if you don't get them out, it's just going to be GG. So I'm just going to move these. As you right out, place it down so it doesn't explode. Obviously, the ones on the edges don't really matter, but if it's in the middle of the room, like that one there, which is in the middle, it's going to cover the whole room. So I don't know if it will get... Ah, oh my God, this chain. So even when a keg explodes, if there's another keg inside that one, it's going to explode again. So it's just crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Like, you can have a chain reaction. So you've got to really make sure that nothing gets off. So it's going to ignition, so it'll do random circles on the floor. So obviously, if you're inside them, it's going to deal damage to you. And with the keg. But I'm pretty sure on high mythic plus, like, the kegs will just be a one-shot. So now we go up here. Yes, that fight was fine. I'm just going to pull big now, because obviously we have cannons as well here. So they have the priests. I'm pretty sure the priests heal as well, so you just got to get ready for that. Make sure you interrupt. But we should be at the last boss. The last boss is literally just up there. As you can see, I'm disorientated by the priests. Priests are basically upgraded um, upgraded flame casters or whatever the ads were down there. So just pull these down. Oh, disorientated again. So you want to make sure that that doesn't get a cast off. So obviously just being in the... Um, being in the cannon and just knocking them back won't let this happen. So that inner flame increases the damage by load, so you just want to make sure that is interrupted as well. There's just the next pack up here. That last two wardens. I'm out of range. So as you can see, the wardens have heavily armed, which damage done increased by 10 and movement speed reduced by 30. So tanks literally just want to kite these guys. I'm just going to gorfing them back. So yeah, that's what you want to do as a tank. Just make sure you're looking at the debuffs. Because as you can see, if I didn't know that debuff and I went to just face tank them, I'm, I'm dead. So yeah, I'm just telling them to look at the cannons at all times. And lockdown, that's just, yeah, which will stun me. So I'm just telling them that the cannons e equal a one shot. But I'm pretty sure I can solo this boss if they all die. So just gonna pull now. Gonna use Empowered Rune Weapon just so I can get Bone Armor up to 10 already. So just gonna make sure I'm just, you just gotta look at the cannons at all times. Because the cannons will spin around like they are doing now, but they're one shot if you get hit by them. Now it will one-shot anyone who's in there, who's in that front. So I'm going to soak this Deadeye. Tanks have to soak the Deadeye. But the Deadeye doesn't hurt, but it increases the damage of your next Deadeye. So I'll be able to survive the next one with um, Anti-Magic Shell. And then with the next one, I'll pop Purgatory. So I can soak free. As you can see, I want to see how hard this hits. So I'm just going to stand in it. I'll see how much of damage... So it didn't even hit him, he dodged it quite well. 
So Deadeye, I'm just gonna pop uh, Vampiric and all stuff for that. So you see, it doesn't even really hurt after them two shots. So the next one might kill me, but I'll just let them solo soak it. But they've changed a lot of the values in normal because these bosses used to be, have loads of HP and now it's reduced quite a lot. So Deadeye, I'm not going to soak this because it will kill me, I'm pretty sure. And obviously a stack of one does not not matter really. But yeah, this is it for um, for Dolkador or whatever its weird name was. But yeah, I'll be bringing up more videos on the Alpha Future so make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and more hands. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.